Hey guys, my name is Leah and today I am going to review the June Boxy Charm. Alright, I have a confession. This is not my first time opening the box. I already did open it and try all the makeup on. And it's what I'm wearing on my face, so I thought it would be a better way to show you what we got and how well it works. All right, so the Moxie Charm box is gonna look like this, about the yay size, and it always comes with all your goodies on the inside and one of these cards. The card is gonna tell you what the monthly theme is and everything that's in your box as well as their value. All right, this month I am, if you can see, variation number three. There's always multiple variations of the box each month and I'm sure it's based on, you know, what they have, how much they can source from different places. I don't know how they choose and you don't get the same number every month. Last month I was five, I think the month before that I was two, I've been one, I've been seven. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Typically there's one or two products that everybody gets and then from there, you never know. Okay, so this is the Tarte palette. I'm pretty sure it's called BU Naturally. It's one of these eight pan shadows are kind of there in the circle. It does have a really nice mirror and the palette's got a nice weight to it. Um, I will say that a few months ago we got other Tarte palettes and mine looked almost exactly like this except it was mostly shimmer shades. This one's about half and half shimmer and matte. This one's got a retail price of $36. For the eyeshadow look that I did today, I used all of the mattes in there. So this pink one, this brown one, um, this kind of tan caramely one, and this very light um, kind of bone shade up here. And then on my lids, I used this pink shimmer one here called Crystallized. It looks like this, I don't have liner on, just mascara. Oh, I do have liner on my waterline, that's a lie. Um, so here's the look that I did with the eyeshadows. Um, I think the look turned out nice. I will say they were dry and they were not super easy to blend. I do think though the shades are nice. It's a really nice just kind of everyday neutral nothing too fancy pantsy palette. I think it's a really good beginner palette. It's got a lot of you know easy go-to neutral shades. It'd probably be great for traveling. It has a great mirror which is really really nice um, and it's you know, kind of a smallish compact, easy to put in places. But for myself, I'm not sure that I'll use this so much considering I probably have all of these shades in however many other palettes. The next item is the Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. The Prime Essence comes in this tube here. It doesn't have a lot of information on it. Um, on the back of the box, it says how to use. At the last step of skincare, apply a moderate amount and gently pat over the skin until it's fully absorbed. Um, I did put this on under my foundation today um, as my after all of my regular skincare, and it feels it's very runny and kind of sticky feeling. Um, but the description on the card says infused calendula flower extract. This primer tightens up your pores, keeping your skin silky smooth. I noticed absolutely zero difference in wearing this, um, just in the way my skin feels now. Um, and then in how my foundation applied, I noticed no difference. So right, the next item is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. I got it in the shade Peach Tea and I'm wearing it right now. It did come with a dirty little secret lip pencil, and this is in the shade Pale Pink. I really like how this lip look turned out. The gloss is so comfortable. It is not sticky at all, and I can't feel it on, but it keeps its shine. I've had it on for a little bit now, and it keeps a really nice shine. The pigmentation is nice. It goes well with the lip pencil, so finally, a pencil product from a BoxyCharm box that I'm actually going to use it's a miracle. But let me just tell you, even if this was the stickiest lip gloss in the world, it had no color and it felt terrible on the lips, I would still wear it because, oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like cake batter. The gloss itself was a $17 value and the pencil is marked at 15. I will say that their pencil prices are always probably a little bit over stated on these cards. I don't think this is a $15 lip pencil. The final product in the box was one that really surprised me. I didn't see it on any of their preview posts on their social media. <laughs> this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan in the shade Classic. 
So this is a $24 value. It says it is a lightweight classic mousse that tailors to your individual skin tone for long lasting tan in one application. Um, because I'm going to a wedding this weekend, I am wearing a dress and my legs haven't seen the sunshine in very, very long time. So I'm gonna pop some of this on my legs this weekend and see how it works. It did come with the tanning application mitt, which is also super exciting because I don't want orange palms. <laughs> All right, so the total this month for my BoxyCharm box came to a value of $115.50. BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription service, so I think it's pretty much worth it. I mean, even if all of the products aren't gonna be stuff you love, using most of them, it's still a pretty good value. For a review of these products and what I think I'm gonna use the most, the lip gloss hands down. I think the color is so pretty and it just feels really nice on. So I'm, I definitely know that I will be using it this summer. The self tanner, for sure. If it looks good and doesn't look too orange, I'm sold. I've been searching for a tanner for a while. And I think the bottom two for me are definitely these. I was surprised at how dry this formula was considering it's supposed to have Amazonian clay in it, which is supposed to make it glide over your skin and blend like a dream. I didn't find that to be the case. And this guy here, I probably won't be using this one. I didn't notice any difference at all in my skin, in the way it looks. My pores still look the same. My skin feels the same. It's not, you know, it doesn't have that smoothness that other primers give you. So beyond the fact that this smells good, I don't really see that it's gonna be a lot of value added to my routine. Um, unless anybody else has used this and has any tips on things I could be doing better with this, please let me know. There was hardly any information. I mean, the back of the tube, there's barely anything and the box is mostly in Japanese. So if you've got any tips on this, send them my way for sure. All right, you guys, that is it for the June 2019 BoxyCharm unboxing and review and roundup and whatever you wanna call it. Um, there were some really good things and there were some just eh things, but I think that's pretty much how it goes with every single subscription box. So if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I think this month they're doing a free item. So if you signed up this month, which is June, you would get an extra full-size item in your next box. So that's pretty cool. And with that, I thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more of whatever this is. Have a super great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.